What's up, you chuckle fucks? It's your boy, Dark Arco here with What If Issei Was a Descendant of Kokoshibo, Part 2. Let me begin into the What If, let me shut the fuck up, and let me begin. So, yeah. We begin into mostly the kind of, well, after mostly Issei managed to leave the two girls behind in the closet. After knocking out the janitor. Before he can keep even walking, this is where Moriyama actually grabs his arm again and says, Issei, we need to talk. First of all, how can you do all that without even using magic? This is where well, Issei looks at her and just says, what? Magic? Oh, magic. Right, right, right. Uh, I have no clue what the fuck magic is entirely is. It's based in content. I don't fucking know how to even use it. So, uh, let's just say that it's a technique that only certain people in my family and other people in different families can use. There, I answer your question. This is where Mario I'm gonna say, no, I want to know how you can use it. What are the moon crests that you actually summon at the time? This is where, well, he say looks at Mario and says, that is for me to have knowledge about and while you have zero knowledge because it makes it much easier for me to kill you at any certain time you actually try to piss me off. This is what Mariam was like, yeah. She was shocked to believe that Mosi Ise would actually keep so many secrets to himself. This is where, well, she then says, then what are we? This is where, well, Mosi says, what do you mean? You're clearly one of my classmates. No, I mean like when we were in middle school. What are we? You, we used to be friends. Why are you so cold to me now? This is where, well, Ise says, I'm not cold. This is how I always act like. Now, if you don't mind me, I gotta be going. Gotta get to the next class. This is where, well, Issei is going to be close to those people who actually find out his secret. He just doesn't want to kind of be bothered into mostly a society with the supernatural that much, but yeah. This is where, well, mostly we go into a time later on. Moriyama and Catherine are kind of upset, but not the point. But we go into mostly someone actually watching mostly Issei. Has been watching Issei for a while. A girl with white hair and of course goldenish eyes. She right now is kind of watching him. Because her kind of master told her to kind of, well, spy on the brown haired boy. But before she can actually go spy on him when the whole day is over, mostly she noticed that the boy was acting was asked out by a girl which is with the fallen her name was yuma mato and of course isei straight up just rejected her her idea and her whole life and just said that he already has someone that he needs to be going for this is where well mostly she was confused until someone actually appeared next to mostly isei and says sup my name is luna also why are you asking my boyfriend out that's where well she said with a clear tint of annoyment because she knows who exactly yuma is she's basically Rainer and this is where well right now Rainer was just dumbfounded to expect this pervert suppose pervert rumors had already a girlfriend this is where well right now making the white haired girl kind of just wind her eyes of hearing that mostly this girl named Luna seems to be already dating Issei this is where well Issei already knew about the devil that was actually spying and should probably kill it because well he doesn't give a damn that much he hates the devils that are in this damn territory because clearly they didn't realize that the damn Hashira was already taking over this goddamn place. But whatever. Entirely, there is a bunch of different, like, places for mostly different Hashiras that they kind of take over in different, like, smaller towns or bigger towns. But entirely, the demons, well, the devils that should have got a message from the kind of demon court, they should have also got a message that mostly the moon Hashira was actually in here. Because, well, if Rias would have known that mostly the moon Hashira was here, then she would not try to go piss off Issei. Because she doesn't even know he's the moon Hashira. But of course, there should be a warning that there shouldn't be devils right now trying to get humans to be reincarnated into devils. Because that's what the demon court has asked, asked for the devils. Of course, there's some devils that ignore the warnings of Hashiras, and that's why Hashiras had to kill them. Just because, well, they don't like the devil's arrogancy that much. Of course, the mouths have been trying to calm down the moon, uh, the demon slayer core, but that's not happening any anytime soon. Because the demon core was created for clearly no devils to be able to incarnate humans. 
they were basically created to destroy and protect humans but yeah destroy devils protect humans but yeah they just brought it back after a while after seeing how mostly the devils are going on a rampage for mostly incarnation humans now of course the mouse can try to do something but when they have to go against one of the hashiras well different types of hashiras like the different types of breathing hashiras they find out the well they find out one thing it's much more difficult when those hashiras are mostly having a sacred gear some of them do even have longitis there is well mostly those who has a longitis some of those has actually a sacred gear that is considered to be almost close to a longitis tier and then just the fact that they have mostly can use magic but can use better techniques to actually destroy mostly devils but yeah and they have sewers that literally can affect mostly devils regeneration pretty easily and like devils in just general it's like if their swords are actually that of almost the same material made out of mostly the sword of sparta yes sparta and this one will be a thing but not the point this word well they don't understand why but they understand one thing the devils aren't going to have any friendly talk with mostly the hashiras but yeah but not the point now rius was definitely warned about the hashira the moon hashira that was in this territory she kind of ignored it because she didn't know what exactly a moon hashira was and of course since she's quite arrogant and cocky and at the same time she's quite uh well ignatious mostly she just ignores a lot of things and doesn't think through it mostly sona kind of found out that to be interesting but mostly she is kind of protected by her sister, but she's a little bit smart to understand that truly she needs to be careful and who exactly she speaks to because they're connected to the moon hashira. The moon hashira does not care if you're the basically younger sister or fucking sibling, son, child, or whatever towards a male. Literally, the hashiras do not care. They would not give a damn. They, there's actually one rumor that mostly a male was almost killed, and that was actually... Uh, French? Mostly the Fort Mal, not Ajuka, not mostly uh, Seraphar or mostly uh, mostly uh, Surge X. But that Mal was almost killed from the fact from one more well, mostly uh, Hashira, the Hashira of Darkness. This where well the Hashira of Darkness is the leader, supposedly the leader of mostly the Demon Court, well the Demon Slayer Court. And of course he almost killed mostly Fred, but yeah, you know, whatever he's got that name. I think Fred. I don't remember. But, of course, this is where, well, we'll see the mouse are a little bit on edge with the Demon Slayer core. Because if the leader can actually kill a mouse, then there's no telling in how mostly the other Demon Slayer Hashiras can actually, well, deal with the uh, mostly devils. But, yeah. But we go into mostly a time skip from that. We go into mostly Issei kind of really think of killing that damn white-haired brat. That's actually spying. Clearly spent spying on him for the whole day. He might have to kill Rius because, well, first of all, he has no care about the freaking little sister of, well, Lucifer. This is where, well, Issei is a little bit much more stronger than his grandfather. But that's just because, well, there's some things with him that makes him stronger. But, yeah. But we go into mostly, well... Rainer kind of, or mostly Yuma, saying, I see. This is where Yuma starts walking away. She was shocked. She was confused. She also felt some weird, strange energy from Luna. Now, Luna, she is not a pathetic, weak uh, fallen angel. She's stronger than any other fallen angel. She just won't show her energy too much. And if Yuma or slash Rainer dares to actually, well, fight her about mostly trying to kill Issei, which Luna doesn't isn't trying to kill Issei. She's in love with him. But mostly if Rainer dares does try or her friend group tries to even kill him she's going to murder all of them this way well with that happening we go into mostly well a time skip well luna walking away of course mostly just talking to isa and she needs to go this where well mostly kuniko had to kind of leave but before leaving isa right now appear next to her having his sword right now near her neck saying hey devil first of all we need to talk why the hell is a devil right now spying on me, Issei said with such a cold glare. This is where, well, mostly Koniko, she was actually going to attack Issei. But this is where Issei right now kind of stabbed her with the sword. This is where she went in pain because the sword is actually affecting her kind of strength. 
And this is where well, Issei kind of noticed that she's an incarnate devil. I see. So you're just an incarnate devil. So you were basically forced to be reincarnated. I would kill you, but you're just an incarnation. So you're basically just le uh, serving your master and whatever bullcrap that she needs. This is where Omo Sikon goes, says, oh, Damn it, what are you? This is where Omo Sikon, when she managed to turn around, her Nekamaru senses went haywire in an instant. She thought she just saw mostly Issei turn into some other different kind of creature that looks to be like a devil, but this devil looks to be completely different, like he was a high ranking or like a super devil. But this is where, well, we're beyond that of like super devil, high ranking, like the devil monarchy or whatever, the whole tier list. He seems to be quite powerful, but of course it was just reverted back to him being a human. His eyes were red and he was annoyed with this bitch. First of all, listen up you incarnated fucking devil. Who, why the hell is the, uh, well, how should I say, the red-haired slut keep uh, trying to spy on me? This is where Koniko glares at Issei, and this is where Issei said, I'm being dead-ass serious. Did she not get the rules of mostly the Demon Slayer core uh, just sending her? A message. Clearly, she just didn't realize that the moon Hashira has been here for a while. You do realize, if I tell mostly the Demon Slayer core, not even Lucifer himself can stand against mostly the Demon Slayer core. This is where, well, mostly Koniko has never heard of the Demon Slayer Court, so of course she's confused, and this is where, well, mostly Issei noticed that. This is where Issei stands up and just sighs and just like to fucking kick her in the head so hard to knock her out. This is where Issei scuffed and annoyed me, saying, stupid bitch. I see, so one of the little sisters of the mouse seems not to know about the Demon Slayer Court. Well, I guess I will just assassinate her later. This is where he puts his sword away and walk away entirely, but yeah. But we go into mostly Issei walking away, and this is where, well, mostly Konika wakes up the next day. And of course, she was confused. She kind of got found out by Kiba, and this is where Kiba says, you okay? This is where Konika nodded and says, I don't remember what happened. Pretty much, she got knocked out so hard that basically, she was forgetful entirely. She even talked with Issei. All she can remember is the Demon Slayer Court, but other than that, she can't really remember anything else. <laughs> This is where, well, mostly we go into a time skip for Koniko talking to Rias. She says that she can't really remember what happened. She was knocked out, but the only thing that she can remember is the Demon Slayer Court. This is where, well, mostly Rias says that must be a new group. I'll talk to my brother about that. Well, not talk to my brother. I might try to talk to Sona about it, but yeah. This is where, well, mostly we go into a time skip later on. This is where, well, mostly we go into Sona. Right now, kind of, well, dealing with some stuff in the morning, but yeah. This is where, well, she hears some knocking and she says, come in. This is where Rias comes in and says, hey, Sona. This is where Sona says, ah, Rias, what do you want? So, it seems that one of my servants has encountered something that's, she said, Demon Slayer. I think mostly Demon Slayer Core. I think that's a new group. Sona is just sweat drops in size and says, what? <sighs> did, did your servant just encounter the moon Hashira? Moon Hashira, Rhea says? This is where Sona smacked her fucking head so hard and just like it felt so painful. Like the other servants kind of like looks at Sona confusedly. This is where Sona says, ah, You're a fucking idiot, aren't you, Rhea? This is where, well, Rhea just gets scared at the, the tone of Sona. This is where Sona says, Get your servants here so I can explain what exactly, why it's a bad idea to fight against a moon Hashira. This is where, well, mostly Rhea's nodded and says, okay. This is where, well, mostly we go into Sona kind of explain towards everyone in the group, even her own group, like her own barrage, because she wasn't expecting the moon Hashira to actually appear and attack Koniko. This is where, well, luckily Koniko is not dead, because clearly the moon Hashira, from the rumors that she has heard about, the moon Hashira should be more ruthless than mostly his, well, mostly supposed the leader well, he's connected to the leader of, well, the Demon Slayer Corps. This is where, well, she explains about, well, mostly the different types of Hashiras. Well, they can't really be found. They're mostly called the pillars of the Demon Slayer Corps. But, of course, it's where, well, she explains all the different types of Hashiras. This is where, well, there's a Mist Hashira, Sun, uh, well, Fire Hashira, Love Hashira, something, blah, blah, blah. She goes on with those types of Hashiras. Now, of course, all of them are ruthless. So, yeah, I'm going to change most of the Demon Slayer Corps. To be more like the pillars to be more uh, ruthless and other things, but yeah, but not the point. 
this is where, well, she explains that mostly they are all ruthless as hell to devils. Now, of course, she explains that there's actually been some sightings of the different Hashidas and warnings of Hashidas not telling, well, telling the devil society that if they dare to try to incarnate any more humans, then the demon slayer core themselves will actually react and actually kill the, well, higher, uh, high ranking devils. Now, there has been warnings, but sometimes the high ranking devils, well, mostly high ranking devils like her and mostly Rias, mostly those types have been ignoring the warnings. And of course, has tried to incarnate in other humans, but they have actually been dealt by the Demon Slayer core Hashidas. There's other Demon Slayer rankers, but they're young, uh, mostly lower or uh, younger, but who cares? And that's where, well, she explains that they all just goes up from mostly rank 10. There's like 10 Hashidas entirely. There will be more probably in the near future, but this is where, well, she explains the 10. Of course, there's barely some of them that has not been seen which element they use. But then she explains the number one right now most deadliest kind of Hashira and actually the one has that has actually worn Kuo itself because it seems that he has been living in Kuo for a while and when mostly her and mostly Rias has actually entered Kuo, the Hashira, the moon Hashira has actually warned them about or mostly sent a message and warned them about not incarnating devils. She was a little confused with this. Of course, she took the warn to heart because she heard about the Hashidas. And clearly, if the moon uh, Hashidas is here, clearly they just invaded someone's territory. Well, a mostly a demon slayer court. Making it kind of a little bit on tense edge with war with the so post moon Hashida. This is where, well, she explains that the moon Hashida should be at least stronger than the darkness Hashida. Or mostly the supposed like leader of the, well, demon slayer court. This is where, well, mostly there has been rumors it's either his son, grandson, or something like that. Really, no one actually knows about it entirely. Clearly, she then says that mostly she got a warning, and Rhea should have also got a warning if Rhea didn't ignore it. This is where, well, mostly Rhea was shocked. This is where she says, then, I should call, I'm not going to call my brother. This is where Sona says, don't even try to call your brother. The leader of mostly the Demon Slayer Corps has already went against Fafnir and has almost killed Fafnir. This is where Rias wind her eyes after hearing mostly a mouth has almost get taken out by the Demon Slayer Corps leader. This is where, well, she wind her eyes that the Moon Hashira is actually stronger than the supposed Darkness user or mostly Darkness Demon Slayer leader, uh, Demon Slayer Corps leader, then that means that the Moon Hashira is way stronger and fighting against her brother would probably be such an ease for him to just kill. Because there's actually some things that mostly his bloodline actually makes him become stronger. That's where, well, she's a little tense and confused and why mostly the supposed moon Hashira decide to attack Koniko. This is where Koniko does not remember, but this is where, well, Sona decides to question Rias if the, well, mostly if she has decided to tell Koniko to spy on anyone. This is where Rias was going to lie but decides to say yes. She said that she's spying, well, told, uh, to spy on mostly Issei, the supposed pervert of Kuo. That's where, well, she then nodded, mostly Sona nodded and says, hmm, I don't think Issei is connected to the Moon Hashira. If he is, then mostly the Moon Hashira is going to try to protect Issei. Or he probably saw that Issei was just walking away while mostly Koniko decides to, well, try to follow him. Because we don't know much about the Hashiras and how they react. If they know that a devil is following a human, then that means they will react to mostly harsh intents to actually hurt the person or kill them entirely. Luckily, Koniko must have just got knocked out. Because I heard from other kind of supposed rumors that when servants decide to try to spy on a supposed human that has a sacred gear or has some kind of powerful use for the servants of mostly a high-ranking devil, some of the Hashu will react to killing the servant. They don't care if it's a reincarnator or not, because if they're reincarnated, then they will free them. In their opinion, it's like a, they're similar to the church, but not entirely. They're not a part of the angel faction at all. They do not care about being near the angel faction or even exorcist. Doesn't work well. Mostly Rias nodded. She realized that this is bad. She would contact her brother, but she's still too prideful. But at the same time, if she doesn't contact her brother, then she doesn't know what to do with the moon Hashira itself because they clearly just landed upon a mostly town that was already kind of protected by the freaking Demon Slayer Corps. And they just moved in without even saying anything to the Demon Slayer Corps. 
If the Demon Slayer core already knows about this, then they're clearly dead if they kind of keep trying to reincarnate devils. Sona kind of just been, huh? She kind of just told Rius that it's better to just kind of go up to the boy named Issei Hyoto and tell him about the supernatural and actually ask him to join his, well, join your barrage instead of just doing whatever plan you were doing, which wasn't it to wait for the fallen angel to kill him or something? Rius nodded. This is where, well, mostly, it's better to do that because if the, mostly, suppose Moon Hashira kind of finds out that that was your plan, then he's going to kill you. He does not care if you're the little sister of the supposed Lucifer, well, well, yeah, Lucifer. Mostly Mal of Lucifer. This is where, well, uh, Sir Zex Lucifer. This is where, well, Rhea's gopes and this is where, well, she then says, but what about you? You have reincarnated Momo. She then points at them. Clearly, I asked them to join me. I never forced them. I never said anything about if you don't uh, join me that I'll kill you and other things and reincarnate you anyway. I never told them any of that. Clearly, I just asked him. I guess the moon Hashira has mostly levels of kindness, probably. Well, this is where, well, mostly Rhea's nodded. She decides to think about it. But we go into a time skip, the mostly couple, well, past couple of days later. But yeah, mostly we go into mostly Luna and Issei right now, kind of going on a date. While Issei was wearing this, like, purplish kind of kimono with a little bit of moon crest on it. This is where, well, he had boots on and right now walking with Luna. Luna was wearing a beautiful purplish dress that kind of looks like this. Let me show you. So this is what she was wearing. And this is where, well, she kind of wore this kind of like purplish and bluish come on, but not the point. But yeah. Actually, no, it kind of looked like more like this. But it had actually moon crest on it. But yeah. This is where, well. This is where both of them were kind of having a good time. But they go to the fountain to actually kind of just talk a little bit. But they know that some people are actually spying on him, on them. Now, it's not the devils this time, but it's actually the fallen angels. And Rainer is completely pissed from the fact that mostly that uh, Luna decided to take her kind of offering. Which mostly, she doesn't even know this girl is actually named Luna. And of course, they were, well, they're kind of dating. Of course, where they kind of go to the fountain and kiss each other. Of course, they were, well, they wait until the fallen angels get out. That's where, well, four fallen angels actually appear. One guy who seems to be the tallest, one girl who seems to be kind of the smallest with blonde and hair and kind of a maid outfit, and the other two being Rainer, and mostly the other one having blue hair and kind of like a red dress outfit that seems not to be the greatest thing to cover herself up. This is where Rainer says, huh, it seems I'm going to have to kill two lovebirds for the fact that, well, you didn't accept my date, you see? Issei looks up with such a bored look, while mostly, this is where, well, Issei looks so bored at Rainer, while mostly the other fallen angels start getting ready, this is where Luna is getting more annoyed, her eyes are actually glowing a darkish blue, with her white hair kind of going up a little bit, this is where, well, Issei kind of looks at his love and says, don't worry, Luna, I'll be the one to kill them, Luna just looks at him, and kind of grins and says, don't you dare do that, Issei. You need to relax. Besides, you're going to have a big date with the devils since they found out if they find out that you're the moon court, uh, mostly Hashira. Mostly, yeah, the moon Hashira. That's where uh, mostly Issei looks at Luna and says, are you sure you actually want to deal with them? This is where, well, mostly she nodded. Issei said, fine. This is where, well, mostly the fallen angels are looking at Luna, which Luna was walking towards him. So relaxed and calm. Until she spreads out literally eight, well, mostly four pairs of wings that are falling, but they're actually kind of like a bluish color. And this is where, well, she was pissed. Her eyes were right now glowing a bluish color. Well, one of them, because the other side was actually kind of blocked by her whitish hair. This, this is where, well, she kind of appears with a halo crown. And, of course, not a halo crown. It was a halo, but it was kind of blackish color. That had mostly, like, mostly thorns on it. And this is where, well, she, her hair was actually glowing kind of a, well, bluish color. This is where a moon kind of like a uh, moon crest necklace that she had was actually glowing blue. She glares at the fallen angel and you say, she says, you ruined my perfect date with my boyfriend. I'm going to kill you for. This is where she right now releases her power and she was pissed at the fallen angels. This is where, well, the fallen angels realize that this angel is actually completely higher ranking than them. And they know who exactly she is now. Thanks to the facts from the well, mostly the halo she has on top, because not many fallen angels have that. This is none other than Luna, Midnight 
more uh well yeah midnight star this is where well day one the ice and say uh luna this is where mostly luna glares at rainer and says what the fuck do you want you low ranking bitch you first could not keep your hands away from my well supposed dear uncle azel and now you're going after my man tell me why i shouldn't murder you right now bitch this is where luna said with such a very happy looking look in her face and her eyes closed this is where well before opening to show black stars in her eyes instead of being kind of white stars this is where well we'll see uh, right now rainer mito uh calorina and even uh Donis he goes. Donis he spreads out actually two more pairs of wings. He's actually a three fallen angel. Uh, mostly user and says, I'm not scared of you. I'm stronger than you. This is where he rushes at Luna and Luna says, Stronger than me? You're nothing but a pathetic weakling than me. This is where she opened her eyes and this is where she then says, Star blocked. This is where, well, mostly Donis he tried to send a very powerful light spirit, but this is where it got blocked by stars until mostly she says, Shooting stars. This is where, well, the stars right now react. And just went towards him and just shot him down. This is where Donis was actually turned into literally feathers. Luna now looks at the three females while angels and says, Tell me why I shouldn't kill you. This is where, well, they all go. Before mostly Luna can even keep walking, a crazy priest says, Yeah, to the rescue, I am. This is where before he even gets to say anything, this is where Issei sighs and says, God, this is annoying. This is where he pulls out his sword and blocks mostly Freed's kind of light sword. Huh? Uh, this is where Issei right now looks at right now. Mostly Frida says, you're fighting me. Let the females fight each other. This is where, well, mostly, the two, uh, mostly three fallen angels were confused. Seeing Issei right now pull out a sword out of nowhere. And Freed says, huh? Who are you? You, you kind of do smell like a devil, but I will... Hmm. Are you related to the devils? Issei says, no, but I kicked a devil yesterday in the face. Like a goddamn soccer ball. Does that count as being next to devils? Free says, ooh, you're that type of person. You are devil, you're a devil hater. Issei says, uh, technically I am. Wait, you're, you're an exorcist, right? Uh, yep, I'm a rogue exorcist. Hmm, someone like you, ruthless and cold to devils, should have joined the Demon Slayer court. Ooh, I heard of that court. I tried to talk to them, but they seem not to care about me too much. So tell me. Who are you technically if you know about them? This is where Issei grins and says, What if I say I am the Moon Hashira? This is where mostly free wine his eyes and says, You're the Moon Hashira? You're way too young. Uh, fuck you about that. This is where well, mostly Issei looks at mostly free. Free says, I mean, yeah, but, uh, whatever. If you're the Moon Hashira, show me how strong you are then. This is where you say grins, and this is where, well, he right now breathes out, saying, First style. This is where, well, mostly you now remember the East style. So the first one was called First Form Dark Moon Ev Ev Evening uh, Palace. This is where, well, Coco, you know, basically just tells you how it works, but yeah. This is where, well, this is where he sheaves his sword, and this is where he saves the technique, and this is where he just swings uh, horizontal, and this is where cutting down mostly, well, free. Free wine has eyes, he cannot react to that speed. This is where he falls down to the ground and just cough up a bit of blood and say, Ow, that hurt like a bitch. Yeah, I can see you're technically stronger than me. Damn. Didn't expect the Hashiras to be stronger than any of the exorcists. <clears throat> he says, Well, free. You can either help me out with tomorrow's problem that I'm going to have to deal with. This is where, well, mostly free says, and what's that? Dealing with the devils in this damn territory. Because clearly, this was my territory before they decided to migrate into this damn territory for no other reason than to be a fucking bother. This is where, well, mostly free says, huh? A bother? Uh, oh, this was your territory. Before these damn little fucking brats of devils decide to appear in it. Oh, you're talking about the sisters. You do realize they're a part of mostly Maus. I don't give a damn if they're a part of the Maus. I'll kill both of the Maus and then ruin the devil society itself. This is where, well, mostly Freed says, Ooh, I like your attitude. He says, says, well, I like yours. Clearly you hate devils, and I hate devils also. So let's have a short partnership here. Because clearly I can just send you to the Demon Slayer Corps. To deal with mostly my grandfather and his kind of ruthless training if you don't understand any of the breathing techniques. Uh, sure, why not? I actually want to see how the moon Hashira re reacts with devils themselves. Don't worry about that. I'll kill them. They're nothing but pathetic weaklings in my eyes. 
Luna says, Ah, my boyfriend is actually having a fun time with most of the person that clearly was our enemy. What should I do with the girls over there? Should I basically kill them or make them your slaves, my husband? This is where Mom will see Issei looks at Mom see Luna and says, Don't know. Whatever you feel like it, Luna. My lovely wife. This is where Mom will see Issei teases Luna and Luna blushes and says, Hmm, I might do something. This is where what now Luna right now makes magic appear right in well in round mostly boat well three three of the fallen angels and say what are you doing Luna Luna says I'm going to not kill you instead I'm going to show you off to Azo and to see why exactly you bastards were trying to kill my boyfriend this is where well, mostly Rainer says uh it's because of uh it's because he has to shake her gear this is where well Luna says oh shake her gear. Oh, you're talking about the moon crusted dragon that he has. This is where, well, mostly, uh, they kind of look confused. And this is where he says, Size, summon out two gauntlets. And this is where, well, they were actually mostly, they were supposed to be black and yellow, but this is where he say changed the yellow to be in a blue color. And this is where, well, mostly the uh, two gauntlets kind of say, mostly one of them says, uh, What do you want? Are we fighting against mostly the red one or white one? What are they? This is where, well, Issei grins and says, no, we're not. Clearly, these fallen angels mistake us for being the red one or white one. This is where Issei kind of talk towards the dragon inside. The dragon says, ugh, god damn it. So you just summon me, uh, you just summon me to just sh be a show off or something? Issei says, no, don't worry. We're going to beat up a bunch of uh, devils tomorrow just so you can have a satisfaction. The dragon inside says, oh, finally, we're going to hurt those damn bastards. I haven't hunted devil in a while. Man, I wonder how strong they'll be. They aren't that strong. In my opinion, I could easily take them out with just a single breathing technique. And it won't even be one of my high ranking ones. This is where, well, Crown Crush says, ugh, fine. Uh, but still, you better use me against them. I want to rip them apart. You better just rip their fucking tiny necks out. This is where you say chuckles and says, yeah, we'll do, Crown Crush. You can go back to sleep. Crown Crush says, ugh. But I can't go to sleep. I need a little bit of murder. Kill one of the fallen or something. Mmm. I would, but can't. My girlfriend's right now dealing with them. And this is where, well, Luna says, well, I could let you kill them. This is where the fallen angel says, please, 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 don't do that. This is where Luna says, but I can't. Sorry about that, crime crutch coon. This is where mostly crime crutch said. This is where crime crutch says, yeah, it's fine, Luna. Ugh, whatever. I guess, what about that exorcist? Oh, he's going to be my partner. Well, mostly just a friendly kind of peace treaty with him to kind of kill some devils tomorrow. This is where, well, mostly Free says, hell yeah. This is where, well, he's grinning like a psychopath. And this is where, well, mostly Crown Crush says, ah, can we just find a devil somewhere? This is where literally a stray devil right now appear right in front of this group and says, ah, bunch of humans. This is where he noticed four of them were fallen angels. One was an exorcist, and one was literally having the circular uh, crescent, mostly dragon. We'll see. Yeah, the crescent, the moon crescent dragon, being that crown crutch. Or oh, having this, uh, both uh, mostly gauntlets. This work because it's two gauntlets, not the point. This work, well, we'll see. Issei looks at the stray devil and says, Well, I wasn't expecting the stupid fucking stray, uh, stray devil to literally appear right in front of me. Right in front of my eyes. This is where Crown Crush says, Kill him! This is where, well, Freed right now grins with Psychopath Grin and says, Let's see who's actually better at this now. Uh, suppose Moon Hashida san. This is where, well, he says, Scuff and says, If you can actually kill him faster, then I won't actually hurt you in the near future if you keep pissing me off. This is where, well, we'll see Freed and Issei right now rush at Mosi. Well, the straight double, the straight double screamed like a girl. <laughs> This is where, well, mostly he couldn't actually right now get away from both of them before getting hurt really fucking bad and actually dying after a while. Yes, this is where, well, mostly Issei ripped his head off and says, yes. This actually felt much better. Well, it's going to feel much better when I kill the little sisters of a male. This is where, well, mostly Crom Crush says, hell yeah, we're going to fucking show them what's the true power of mostly the, uh, wait, let me show Okay, uh, for some reason I'm posting a little bit, not the fun. Mostly the crusted circle dragon. This is where, well, he says, We will show them the true power of our might. And then we will find the red one and the white one. And we will fuck them up. This is where, well, he says, yep, that is true. But for right now, 
Sorry about this. This is where he kind of disconnected mostly the two sacred gear. Godless to appear, disappear. And mostly Isaac then walk up to his lovely girlfriend and right now kiss her in the mouth. This is where well, mostly Isaac says, so, where do you want to go after mostly dealing with the two damn fallen angels? Uh, let's see. Hmm. This is where, well, mostly she says, truly, I want to go home. I'm a little tired. I did right now use my power and I don't want Azu to find me entirely. Because he's going to question me and why I haven't been in the Gregorio. Blah, 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 blah. This is where we'll mostly uh, Issei smiles and we'll see Luna and kiss her in the forehead and say, Don't worry, my lovely girlfriend. You will always be mine. I won't let Azo, even if he's a leader or your uncle, it's perhaps all that matter, um, try to take you away. You're mine. Understand that? And only mine. This is where Luna blushes and says, I know. This is where we'll, we'll see. They both kind of giggle. And of course, where it well free says, this will be wholesome as hell if it wasn't between mostly Luna, the Midnight Star, and literally between the Moon Hashira. What is your name? Free kind of question, Isek. Isek says, oh, right, you should know my name. Well, mostly people in this town can call me Isek Hyoro. But if you want to know my actual name, my name is Isek. Well, mostly. This is where well, mostly Issei says, my last name is Issei Tsunuki. Well, mostly first name is Issei and last name is Tsunuki. This is where well, mostly Free says, hmm, I don't know much history of the Demon Slayer Corps. Oh, then I should explain it. It's actually from my great, great, great grandfather. Mostly they were two twins. Well, entirely one actually had children, but the other one didn't. Well, mostly one was the sun, well, supposed to be the sun Hashira, one of, one of them was the moon Hashira. Clearly, my uh, grandfather had kids while he was, um, how should I explain it? A thing. I will explain that later. But not the point. Prom Crush and Luna actually knows exactly what Issei says about thing because they know about mostly Kokushibo's actual being a demon. Well, under a demon's ruler. But of course, Issei managed to get the demon blood awesome. But not the point. Now, of course, Is they don't actually know if Issei can also use sun breathing. But they do know that he can definitely use moon breathing. He is a quite expert in moon breathing and also darkness breathing from his grandfather. But yeah. This is where, well, Issei says, other than that, we should probably be getting home or something. Or just going. This is where, well, Issei says, also fallen angels. You don't have anything else to hide, right? This is where they shake their heads. This is where Free said, "Oh yeah, we for I forgot to mention there is a uh, nun that we're going to have in a couple of days. She's a sacred gear for healing. Healing, you say? Not gonna lie, that's actually quite helpful to the Moon Core. Well, we'll see the Demon Slayer Core. Thanks to the fact that we don't have any healing proper techniques, that should be quite helpful to us. So we're gonna take it, just as our partnership here. And besides, I beat the shit out of clearly you." And could easily beat the shit out of mostly those fallen angels. Even if I had to go take it away from her. This is where almost see Free says, Yeah, she's gonna come in a couple of days. This is where the, the fallen angel says, Hey, Free! This is where, well, mostly Luna says, Huh? Do you say something there, fallen angels? This is where they shake their head and say, No, 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 we didn't say anything. This is where, well, mostly Luna just shake their head and says, Yes, I already seen your memories. The mostly little ex nun is named, well, I should say, Ozzy Argento. She's going to come here in a couple of days. So keep your eyes out, mostly Issei. This is where, well, Issei said, ah, Why can't you grab her? Because I have to bring these idiots back towards mostly Azul. And also, good luck with Co uh, Cocobill, because Cocobill seems to be the one that actually went rogue. And probably is going to start a war or something. Uh, if it doesn't mean starting a war with humanity, then I won't care. But if it's starting a war with humanity, I'm killing him. This work well, we'll see. Luna says, I know, but I know you would do the right thing no matter what. Issei looks at Luna, blushes, and just looks away. This work well, Luna right now cutely kind of laughs at mostly Issei's blushing face. And this work, Issei says, Stop laughing. This work well, Luna says, How can I? You're so adorable. This work well, Issei says, If you don't stop blushing, I will fucking make you mine in an insane in the bed. This work well, Issei said, We're a very dominant kind of presence. This work well, making Luna blush and says, Please do that. This is where you see grins in an instant. Of course, where, well, mostly the three final angels. We do not need to see that right now. Just take us towards mostly Azul, that's all. This is where, oh, well, Luna said, shut up already, Rainer, before I fucking kill you. Rainer said, I I'm sorry, miss. Yes, I'm sorry. 
This is what we're making. Uh, kind of size. I gotta go there. He say. He say, say. Oh, don't take too long. Just take them already, and then you can meet me in my bed. This is where we're making Luna blush and say, shut up already, perv. This is where he say grins and just say, yeah, sorry. This is where oh mostly free says, well, I'm going back to the church. You can call me any time, and how would that work? He say right now says, come out. Uh, what's it called? Uh, well, mostly he calls out a name, and this is where uh mostly he calls out something called well mostly. This is where well he says height mode come out. This is where a right now crow appears. This is where well he seems to have a scar in his like right eye, and this is where well he seems to have his feather being completely black, but a tint of white a little bit. This is where well Haimoto says yes. Do you need something? This is where well the crow actually speaks. This is where well mostly free says what is that? This is the only way for mostly us Demon Slayer course to actually right now communicate. We can talk through phones, but at the same time, we don't want devils to actually hear what we're talking about. So that's why we use these crows. Well, some of us have birds and different types, but mostly this is Haimoto. Haimoto will call you if I need any help, which I might not need. This is where, well, Free just scoff and says, I guess I'm going to have to be dealing with a talking crow. This is where, well, you say just chuckles and says, nah, he's more than a talking crow, but you're not going to need to piss him off anytime soon, are you? This is where, well, mostly Free says, well, truly, I don't want to listen to a talking crow. This is where before Free can say anything, a literally a feather went right next to his cheek and cut his cheek. He then says, holy shit, what the hell? Sorry, Hamoto doesn't actually like when people call him a talking crow. It's more either you call him General Hamoto or you call him just Haimoto-san, or just call him Haimoto. Because truly, if you just call, uh, call him a stupid crow, or crow itself, this is where you say dodge, well, right now, blocks, grabs literally a feather before it hits him right in the eye. Haimoto would be really pissed. I'm sorry, Haimoto-san, but I was just explaining to the, uh, most the exorcist. Haimoto says, hm, I understand there, Issei-san. Well, I should be going then. Can I now go back to most of my wife and children? Yes, sorry for calling you out too late here. No, it's okay. I thought you were here to talk well send a message to your grandfather. Oh yes, please do. I need to talk to him about mostly what I should do with the stupid mouse when they actually show up after me killing their siblings. This work well mostly I want to nod it and right now flies off. This work well you say this other than that I'll be going free when mostly Haimoto appears you gotta show up. If you don't show up, then I'm gonna just think you're a fucking pussy to fight some devils. This is where, well, mostly, Free says, I'm not a pussy. I'm gonna kill them. This is where Issei chuckles and walks away. But yeah, you go into mostly Issei getting into the house and just waiting in his room for a while. He would love to just go kill some stray devils. But he is too excited to actually meet the devils themselves so he can show who he truly is. And truly can scare the shit of them or kill them or whatever happens next. This is where Crown Crush says, You know, that excitement is actually making me stay up. Can you please, I don't fucking do with your girlfriend. Literally, I don't care. Do with your girlfriend. Waste that much energy because I do not want to be stay up all day, night, waiting for a murder slaughter because I might be also tired tomorrow. This is where, well, mostly Issa says, I wish Luna was here. Because I need to release some stam uh, stamina, pent-up kind of stress. This is where, well, we'll see Crown Crush says, I do not need to hear that, okay? Do what your girlfriend and shut up. This is where you say chuckles and says, yeah, yeah, yeah. I might call up one of the other girls. Uh, but I do know Luna would be pissed at me if mostly she kind of goes into my room, kind of seeing me sleep with another girl. Well, she won't get angry. She would just be upset and then make me kind of, yeah, I don't care. Just think to yourself. Don't tell me. You say, say, fine. God, Crown Crush. <sighs> fine, whatever, old man. This is where well, mostly Issei right now sits in his room waiting. This is where well, mostly a couple hours pass. No, Luna. This is where you say, say, ah, I guess she's not coming. This is where she then sees a crescent, well, mostly a magic circle crescent moon uh, style. And this is where, well, who actually appears is actually Luna. Luna in a very skippy, and I mean literally skippy lingerie outfit. This seems to kind of have some moon crescent on it and says, so how do I look? He says, it's fucking hot. This is where, well, mostly he says, so, you actually want to do it now? This is where Luna blushes and says, not now. I mean, I want to just sleep normally. Oh, that's complete bullshit. Why did you come in that outfit then? This is where Luna grins and says, yeah, I do. 
this work well they decide to kind of well luna makes a magic sign and circle around them to start but yeah but we go into a time skip into the next day Issei was so much more relaxed and less stressful from school this is where well he had a very calm expression this is where well he was walking into school literally kind of just having his moon hashira underneath his clothing and that's where well luna was actually nowhere to be found and it's decided because luna had to go back to her school or mostly just go to her house and fall asleep because she was woken up the whole night this is where well Issei was more refreshed than ever Issei says well i could mm, yeah i feel like that's that was a really good night last night but we go into mostly Issei kind of sitting in his class right now asleep a little bit because, well, yeah, he didn't get much sleep. But this is where, well, he kind of feels a devil right now getting close to him. It's none other than Kiba, and Kiba says, uh, Issei-kun. This is where Issei looks up and says, yes, Kiba-san, do you need something? This is where Issei didn't reply with hate or any of that. This is where girls were glaring at him, which Issei didn't care because he doesn't care of any of the females in the school. Truly, he only came here just to spy on the devils to see if what they were doing was necessary but truly he just didn't care too much about anything else other than being a pervert so girls wouldn't actually flirt with him because luna would be psychopath and probably kill him that or probably even junko would try to kill him also or even Esna. now that he thinks about it he hasn't talked to junko or SF in a while they will probably be pissed at him even candace he's like ah shit i forgot to talk to them they're going to be pissed at me for not talking to them in a while Ooh, and I hope Luna doesn't actually tell them anything about last night. If they do, then they're going to be more pissed than ever. Whatever. It's a stretch out and says, sure, why not? I'll be going then. This where, well, mostly they both walk. This where he says, so why does your mostly president want to see me? This where, well, Kiba says, oh, just to have a little talk. This where he says, I see. Good to know. This where, well, we go into Rias kind of being nervous. Of course, Luna was there and saying, don't be nervous, Rias. You just gotta tell him if he doesn't want to, then we just erase his memories and other things. Ria said, I know that. That's what I'm worried about because I need to get out of the mar uh, marriage between Riser. This is where, well, mostly Ria was kind of scared and other things. She was just like, she wanted mostly like he died and other things, but mostly the falling just seems to disappear from last night. She doesn't understand why, but it's probably to do something with the moon Hashira. Now, they don't know any about Issei being the moon Hashira. But when Issei kind of like walk in, mostly when Kiba knocked and mostly Rhea said, oh, come in. That's where Issei was confused to see a bunch of people. He then like wasn't too confused, but it looked like he was confused outside. He was acting. His acting is so fucking perfect. Usually it kind of be his like acting himself. Literally, he can trick anyone except for his girlfriends because literally they can actually see him try to act and get out of situations. But when it comes to his grandfather, mother, mostly his mother can see it's him acting acting but when it comes to mostly his grandfather he can easily act away from him sometimes because his grandfather can actually see what the hell he's trying to do and get his ass back over here but yeah but this is where well we go into back into the whole thing he should look shocked he said uh what exactly is happening here this is where he say kind of question now and this is where well Ria says sit down please he say kun he says sure this is where, well, Issei right now is sitting down, and this is where, well, the devils, well, Rias right now has a very hard time to explain things towards mostly Issei, until Sona had to step in and she explains it. This is where, well, Issei nodded. This is where, well, Rias is waiting for Issei's answer until Issei sighs, and this is where, well, he says, ah, I will answer you now. This is where his voice becomes serious. First of all, clearly you devils are seem to be more stupid than ever than I expected. Well, Sona seems to be smart because she clearly asked the mostly devil serpents that she actually asked them. Unlike you, Rias, who clearly you tried to kill me with fallen angels and tried to do other things like that. Rias and Sona was confused to see Issei's acting tone until Issei right now kind of removed his clothing, his uniform, to reveal his mostly purplish kimono. And this is where Issei says, Let me introduce myself back again. My name is Issei Hyoro. I am none other than the moon Hashira. The one rank, rank number one Moon Hashira of the Demon Slayer Corps. This is where everyone wind their eyes in an instant. Rias and Sona right now wind their eyes. Rias got on guard so fast, even Sona. <sighs> it seems that a fight might have to be interrupted, and I guess I will have to kill the younger siblings of the two mouths. Doesn't matter in how the mouths react to me, 
I'll kill them in an instant and ruin the whole uh, devil society. Because clearly, I told you to either get the fuck out of my territory, or don't reincarnate de uh, mostly humans into devils. But what you did is do the complete opposite, and it seems a red-haired cow right now seems to ignore me even more because she sent some white-haired bitch to try to spy on me. Luckily, I knocked her out and only made her remember the demon side core. Just so you two can talk about this. I already planned this out from a very long present time. Other than that, it seems that you people didn't actually take my warning serious. He said he takes out his sword, mostly the one that he's been using for a while. But this is where it completely went black in an ending, like darkness was seeping out. Yes, we're using his darkness breathing. But this is where he then pulls out another sword from a dimension portal. He can use magic, but this is where, well, he pulls, well, not magic, he's right now kind of like summoning out his two godlets, and this is where, well, the godlets right now show out to be crime crush and says, oh, are you going to murder some devils now? Finally, I can't wait to kill you, pathetic weaklings, and then we can fight the mouse himself. This is where, well, mostly they wind their eyes after seeing the godlets is none other than the evil dragon, Crom Crutch, the crescent circle dragon. This is where, well, all of the devils get unnerved with Issei's power. Clearly, he's the moon Hashira, but truly, he also has a sacred gear. And this sacred gear is a high-ranking, mostly, mostly close to high-ranking sacred gear. It's actually higher than both the, what's it called? I suppose the two heavenly, uh, heavenly dragons themselves. Because Crom Crutch was actually stronger. He was actually stronger than the two heavenly dragons when they fought a little bit, but yeah. But he got defeated at their mostly, well... Taking on a fight with God and the mostly Lucifer's and other things. So yeah, that's why Crime Crush is pissed, pissed at the devils, but yeah. Or, well, he he didn't fight against God, no. He actually turned himself into a sacred gear and just put himself into mostly just anyone. Mostly, he kind of found out about mostly Issei's grandfather after a while. After mostly, they seem to be compatible, but mostly Issei's grandfather talked to Crime Crush to say that mostly his grandson will be more compatible than him. Which mostly he put him in Issei's body, but yeah. Issei is right now grinning with like such a look. Well, not grinning, but you can see mostly Crime Crutch grinning. Like, if he could be able, if you could actually be able to see him, he's grinning like a psychopath. But Issei looks stoic as hell. This is where, well, Issei says, so it seems that our fight will now begin. This is where, well, mostly Issei says, Crime Crutch, of course, Blade! This is where, well, Right now, a blade actually appears in his right hand, and is none other than the fucking sword of Sparta himself, Yamato. This is where, well, mostly Virgil Sparta. This is where Issei says, well, it seems that our fight will now commence. This is where, well, all of them wind their eyes into realizing that Issei is not just the Moon Hashira slash Darkness Hashira. He's also considered to be, well, mostly a Spartan descendant, yes, but he also has Crom Crutch Sacred Gear. He's clearly busted right now in front of them. They right now cannot do anything to him because clearly his speed, power, and everything literally overpowers them all. Because literally, not even fucking 30 seconds later, Issei was already above Rias having the sword right now towards her neck. Issei says, listen up, fucking brat. It's time for your death. And I'm going to enjoy killing your family entirely, everyone. Because clearly, you did not take any warning serious. This is where Sun tries to use her water magic, but the sword, the darkness blade, was into her mostly chest, so of course, it was nullifying her magic, she was actually shocked. Issei was actually the moon Hashira. The perverted, uh, mostly loser of Kuo was actually the moon Hashira. He was literally in plain sight, and no one would actually expect him. Sona was never, she never expected Issei to be the moon Hashira itself. But this is where a magic crescent circle appears, and it was actually from the phoenix, and this is where, well, he says, My dear Rias Grammar, when he opened his eyes, he whined his eyes. Seeing the massacre between the mostly different parage members of, uh, well, Rias and Sonas, he then noticed Sona was pinned to the wall with the sword, and then noticed Issei right now kind of having the Yamato play right towards mostly Rias' and neck, and about a stab her. This is where Riser says, You dare touch my lovely bride! This is where he sends fire straight towards Issei. Issei notices it, and this is where, well, it smashes into him, but this is where Issei right now destroys it in an instant. Crom Crutch says, ooh, Issei, please let me out of the sacred gear. I want to rip the damn phoenix apart. I haven't hunted a phoenix in a while. I'm hungry. 
This is where Issa says, fine, come out, Crumb Crutch. Crumb Crutch actually appears becoming, becoming kind of looking mechanical a little bit with a little bit of organism. And this is where Crumb Crutch says, I'm finally free. He's a small dragon, but right now, it, there's not much magic that Issa can use that much. But this is where, well, over time, Issa has built up a kind of pack with magic. That, like a little seal that he has around his body that mostly he can throw a pail towards Crumb Crutch to eat so he can actually grow to his full size. But right now it's not needed because it's just a fucking phoenix. Mostly in Crumb Crutch eyes. This is where he says, says go ahead, Crumb Crutch, go wild. Crumb Crutch rushes out mostly, well, uh, the phoenix. The phoenix right now tries to use fire, but this is where Black Lightning appears destroying his mostly fire and anything. This is where, well, Riser wind his eyes and says, what the? How are you being able to defeat me? I'm Riser Phoenix. And this is where uh, Crime Crush says, Then I'm Crime Crush, the evil dragon himself, the Crescent Circular Dragon. Show me what you have, Phoenix. This is where he bites onto Riser's arm, and this is where Riser was just shot. He screams in pain, trying to about to punch Crime Crush, but Crime Crush lets go, and right now sends a very powerful black lightning attack straight towards uh, Musky Riser. Riser smashes into a wall, just shocked with power. <laughs> This is where he wasn't expecting uh, Crown Crutch to be this powerful. This is where, where we go into mostly someone actually appearing. And it was none other than Gracie. But Gracie B says, my lady, uh, and uh, this is where she noticed Issei. Right now, about a stab of mostly Rias, and after mostly telling Crown Crutch to go and fight Riser. This is where, well, mostly she noticed the Crest, uh, the Crescent Circle Dragon fighting against Riser. And of course, she doesn't know how powerful he is right now. But clearly, he's out of the sacred gear, even though he's a mechanic. A little bit mechanical and a little bit organism inside his body, but yeah. She didn't notice, well, none other than the moon high shit about a stab breeze in the neck. This is where Grace B sends a very powerful ice wall, but this is where, well, the ice wall was actually cut down pretty easily by Issei. Issei then looks at Grace B and says, You're Grace B. You're none other than Lucifer's wife, aren't you? Tell me. Why is this bitch? This is where he points at mostly uh, Rias. Rias was shocked and this is where she's scared for her life. Because clearly Issei does not care about even calling her a bitch or any of that. He's disrespectful in so many ways. Why is this bitch in my territory? Territory. Clearly, as the moon Hashira, I have sent warnings even to that of the Mal himself. If he does not remove his trash out of my territory, I will not hesitate in killing them. Now that you see that, I wasn't hesitating to actually kill them. Tell me, why are they here? This is where Issei right now looks at Grace to be dare, and like dead in the eyes. Grace to be some bluish kind of eyes right now meet up with Issei's kind of, well, mostly reddish eyes. Or they're mostly reddish, but right now one of them is glowing yellow with a kind of symbol on it. This is where, well, Gracie was unnerved by his power. His power is too much. This is where, well, Gracie kind of say, oh, Please, can you not kill them? Moon Hashira san. This is where Issei says, They're not dead, but I'm just wanting to know. Get them out of my territory at once. This is where he sends such power that it smashes into Gracie and Gracie was just shocked. This is where Issei is now releasing a bit of his magic. Since he's actually a descendant of none other than Virgil and also Nero, his power literally can rival that of mostly a Mal. Because each has trained in magic. He, he, I might have said that he might have put a place of a seal that is like a magic ball that he can always toss at Crown Crutch. Which he can, but he can do it multiple times because he has done it multiple times. In different seals, just in case that either Crown Crutch needs to grow and destroy anything. This is where, well, making... Right now, Grace B nodded. She said, understand, I will get rid of Rias and even Sona out of this territory at once. I did not know the moon Hashira was in this territory. Issei said, what the fuck you mean you didn't know that I was here? What? Did the freaking talk that my grandfather sent towards mostly Sarzak's mouth didn't reach his fucking like head? Clearly. When the moon Hashira is in a territory, or any Hashira is in a territory, you should get your trash out of, well, mostly, the territory of a Hashira. Clearly, we're already protectors of that territory. We do not need no devils or straight devils in our territory in the first place. We can already deal with the straight devils, but when it comes to high-ranking devils, there's no politics in our ranking system that does not say we cannot kill them. Clearly, when there's trash in our territory, we will slaughter them and throw them out, dispose of them at once. This is where, well, 
Greg seems to be scared of mostly Issei's power. He is a Spartan. Clearly, he has the sword of Yamato. And clearly, the Yamato sword is glowing with a silverish color. Clearly showing that he is actually also using moon, mostly breathing into it. But yeah. This is where Omo seems making uh, Grace be nodded, saying, I will now teleport all of them away. Please, can you tell uh, Crown Crutch Sand to not hurt, uh, what's it called? Well, we'll see Riser Sand. Riser was already on the ground. He could not even defeat the little dragon itself. It was too powerful. Crown Crutch is laughing at Riser, saying, So pathetic. I'm going to kill you and enjoy ripping you apart. Issei looks at Gracebee and says, No can do. Crown Crutch Sand actually does whatever. When he's out of the sacred gear, he can do whatever. Other than that, I don't care if he dies or not. The Riser Phoenix. He's a Phoenix. He can live, probably. I don't care. Now get this trash out of my territory at once. Understand? This is where, well, Grace being nodded. Right now, teleporting everyone. Even though she's the strongest queen of what's it called, mostly the underworld, she is not going to mess with mostly Issei, also known as Issei Tatsuki, who is actually the grandson of mostly, well, the demon cord kind of like leader, but yeah. This is where, well, mostly she teleports everyone, even trying to teleport Riser, but Riser was not right now having black lightning around his body, he was screaming in pain. Gracie, we had to just leave him there. This is where, well, mostly. Crown Crush says, well, I'm done with the Phoenix. He's regenerated already, but he's knocked out. You couldn't just kill him? Ha, huh. you think I can kill a Phoenix? Well, I can, if you release my full power. You know, give me one of those balls. This is where, well, mostly, or not balls, those tabs. This is where, well, mostly, say, so right now, pulls out a tab. Saying, I could give you, but I'm not trying to destroy this building. Not trying to cause more for trouble. So I just use this. He right now uses the glowing silver, uh, mostly, well... Silver blade, and before he was about to cut with mostly Riser's head off, this went well. It was blocked in an instant. Right now, not by mostly Crom Crutch, by by someone else, someone with the black blade. This went well. Issei looks up and sees his grandfather. Grandpa, what are you doing here? His grandfather sighs and says, ah, "Luckily, I'm actually arrived. What are you doing here, Issei? Issei, right now, looks at his grandfather and says, "Grandpa, like I mentioned, what are you doing? Let me kill the devil." I've been trying to get a peace alliance with them to stop trying to destroy them at once. What do you mean destroy them at once? I've been doing my job and getting rid of them out of my territory. Like I even threatened the freaking queen of, well, mostly the underworld to get her away from my territory. Mostly his grandfather sighs and says, I sh damn it, I was too late then. Then, fine, just don't kill the brat here. He say right now his size and scoff and says, whatever, Grandpa. Crom Crush, let's go. Crom Crush right now goes back into his body, but right now appears as wings, but then just appears back into his body. He say said, I'm going, Grandpa. This is where, well, his grandfather says, yes, I know, dear grandson. Go back to your house and think about what you did. This is where he says, what I did, had a freaking blast of a time with the devils, killing them and ripping them apart. This is where, well, mostly we'll his grandfather chuckles and says, you know, there's no much blood around here, except for the walls and probably the ground. But there should be more bodies, shouldn't there? Oh, Gracie decides to take it. Not my problem. Issei disappears in an instant. But yeah, we then go into a time skip of mostly, well, Sergex seeing his sister, and also Serpa seeing, uh, seeing her sister, right now in a state of being really injured. This is where Gracie explains about the Moon Hashira being in the territory, and how mostly the Moon Hashira is quite, and I mean literally quite deadly and powerful, because he has none other than mostly Yamato, the blade of Sparta, but also he is a demon slayer core being the strongest moon, uh, mostly moon Hashira ever in existence, and also having, well, none other than Crom Crutch, the Crescent Circle Dragon. This is where, well, making, well, Sergex and even Seraphor worry about that. Because entirely, they weren't expecting mostly, well, that to happen at all. They weren't expecting that mostly the uh, crescent, uh, well not crescent, mostly the moon Hashira to actually appear and actually fight against their younger siblings. They were expecting to have a little bit more time before any of that happened. But that happened and of course they were stupid, en were stupid enough to kind of not listen to the moon Hashira's kind of anger plead with them. Or not even anger, well yeah it was an anger plead to them because they did get the messages. But they ignored it because they were just thinking that there were devils hiring the humans. But that happened. They literally see their younger siblings right now in the hospital. 
But for right now, I'm going to end it off here for part two of this what if. So if you guys like it, I mean, I had kind of a blast in trying to make up things, but yeah. Mostly, not make up things, but you get the point. I was just kind of having a blast with the story a little bit. Because I kind of like it. I kind of like how I'm doing this. But other than that, I'm going to leave it off here. I might continue what, on with the Stern Raider vessel uh, later on. But for right now, I got to be going. I got to go buy pizza. So yeah, bye soon. Yeah. See you.